Well, Powell's crypto commentary in front of the House on Wednesday sent Bitcoin surging, now hovering around $30,000. But is the cryptocurrency being overbought? We have Yahoo Finance reporter Jared Blickery with a breakdown for us. Hey, Jared. Hey there, Rochelle. Just look at the green here. This is only over the last 24 hours, but Bitcoin, Ethereum, each up for more than 1%. Um, this comes after some int an interesting uh, day, not only uh, with Powell in front of Congress, but also some of those uh, Bitcoin ETF uh, service providers, they have filed for a new Bitcoin Cash ETF. That is a spot ETF, or excuse me, a Bitcoin spot uh, that trades what it does in the cash market as opposed to the futures. And this has important implications because we know Gary Gensler has been coming down pretty hard uh, this year over uh, on a lot of entrance into the crypto space. All of these lines here on this chart represent a filing uh, or a, an accepted uh, an expected filing against a member of the Bitcoin community. Here we have the SEC suing Binance and, and its CEO. We also have uh, Coinbase as well here. And that was at the recent lows. But what I really want to point out is that we are in a technical pattern right here. We have an uptrend overall. You can call this a bull flag. And uh, the, I think the market was just looking for a catalyst to break out. And uh, it did to the upside here. That is what it tends to do, continuation of the overall trend. But one thing I have been noticing is the correlation with tech and especially the mega cap st uh, stocks has not been holding true over the last few days. Sometimes uh, markets decouple, sometimes they come back together. But you take a look over the last four days, this blue line, the cyan line down here, that is the NASDAQ 100, which is slightly down, actually down about one and a half percent. And then we have the ProShares Bitcoin ETF, Bito, that is up about 18 percent. So quite a big divergence there. And the divergence didn't start today. In fact, we've been seeing this for some time, a decoupling between uh, what was, I would say, last year, a close correlation between the stock market and crypto, and now a little bit uh, different. Here's a year to date, and the steady cyan line right here, this is the QQQ that we were just looking at. And then we have Bito, that's the uh, Bitcoin proxy I'm looking at here. Here's that bull flag. Uh, even though it is a bull flag, you'll notice the trend is down over this very short period of time. But then we finally got resolution uh, popping back up to the upside here. And just to give you an idea of how much more volatile uh, crypto is than the ordinary market. We can see a lot of these swings in here tend to be a lot bigger when we consider what's happening in the crypto space. So overall, I'm just going to go back to our heat map here. I'm going to show you what's happened over the last four days. Uh, really positive technical action. But to answer the original question, is Bitcoin overbought right now? Could be a little bit overbought. Here's that year-to-date chart. I was looking at one measure of being overbought, which is RSI. Uh, it needs, it's a scale of 0 to 100. It's not even past that 70 period. And so anybody looking at a chart might say, well, it has a little bit to go. Um, based on the technicals here, you'll see that it almost matched this high, or actually did exceed this high right here. And that would probably be cause for a pause maybe a little bit more, hard to say. Indeed, I know a lot of crypto enthusiasts have been waiting for that breakout moment. We'll, we'll see if this can hold. A big thank you there, as always, our very own Jared Blickery there.